Just got done mowing this one. Cut it at three and a quarter. That is a double cut. And then I still had a couple little clumps to break up with the backpack. So I was mowing along and this black cloud was following me all morning. And I wanted to get to a certain point. I knew it was going to end up raining. They said it wasn't supposed to rain until later this afternoon, but I knew it was going to end up raining sooner just because of how dark the sky was getting. And I started mowing along. And I got done with it. And I'm like, ah, oh, maybe it'll hold off a little bit. I went around the corner to the other side of the block to do this other really big one that I do. I filmed before. It's the one where... I had to, uh, a couple weeks ago I filmed it, and I filmed it with a Great Dane when I first started using it. I didn't like the way the blades cut it, so I switched up blades, and I cut it the following week with the walker. Well, it was that long, and that long grows out of control as it is, as you guys know, and I didn't want to have to delay it a day, especially after rain. It holds water, everything else. It's just a nightmare. I wanted to get it done. Well the sky was getting black and fast so I outlined the whole perimeter I didn't even trim I outlined the whole perimeter and I just started going to town on the front yard I was flying on the Great Dane and it was leaving a beautiful cut I switched and put the super high lifts back on last night because when I ran them before I still had I think I explained to you guys before I had that one I had the three spacers or whatever, what, three or four spacers, whatever, um, in between the blade and the spindle. And uh, that deck goes in half inch increments. So I didn't want to be cutting all the way down three inches. 90% of my properties I cut at three and a quarter. So what I did was, since that point, I had moved one of them spacers to below the blade. So, and the spacers are quarter inch spacers. So wherever I set the deck, it'll be a quarter inch higher than what it set. So in three inch setting, obviously it's cutting at three and a quarter. So that's when I put those gator blades on it. It was cutting beautiful. I got an idea last night. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try throwing these super highlights back on now that I did that. Well, it's been cutting beautiful all day. So, well, I actually cut with it yesterday too. And it cut beautiful yesterday, so. I guess that was the issue. So I can cut with the super high lifts and it does leave a really nice cut. Um, but anyway, so I was flying through that yard and I, I got the whole front yard done because that holds the most water. And I was like, please Lord, just let me get this front yard done before this rain comes down on me. I can come back and do the backyard tomorrow. Well, I was on my last stripe of that front yard and the skies just opened up. Just poured down water on me flew back to the trailer didn't even blow the driveway off I had a very little bit of grass in the driveway didn't even blow it off got the mower back in the trailer and closed up and left and as I was leaving there the cars were literally doing 30 miles an hour it was coming down so freaking hard and I called my buddy and I'm like hey you getting wet yet and he said hell yeah he and he's like two towns away from me and he was getting soaked I said you want to meet up for lunch he said, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. So I went home and I dropped this truck and trailer off and I grabbed my daughter and took her and went met up with my buddy and had lunch. So we got done with that and I'm heading back to take her back home and the roads are drying right up. Sun's coming out. I'm like, sweet. I'm, like, I'm going to go back out and see what I can mow. Well, I get back up there. And it had dumped so much water in like the 45 minute storm, it was ridiculous. I'll show you a picture, check this out. This ditch is actually only about two feet wide and it's about three feet deep. That's how much it flooded out in that short time. It flooded into the neighbor's yard to the right, into my account on the lot. So you see how bad it was, it came down. So. Anyway, I went back there, and that's when I went back. That's what that picture was from. I saw that, and I was like, holy cow. So I walked the property a little bit. didn't feel too bad. There was one section that was like 10 foot wide by like 30 foot long that was holding a bunch of water. So I just 
we whacked that whole area down. I got my boots on that are waterproof, so I walked through it. We whacked that whole area down, and then I went really slow, and I mowed that whole backyard, and it clumped up everywhere. There were clumps. Not nearly as bad as I thought. It'd be a lot of it did disperse, but it clumped up like crazy, and uh, so I just got done with it, put the mower back on the trailer, threw the backpack blower on, and I just went to town. I walked the whole backyard. It took me about 15 minutes or so, just breaking up clumps everywhere. It looked really good when I left. I was really surprised. So then I left there and I went to the one you just saw, which usually holds some water. That's a historical building uh, for the historical society for that township. Um, and I really thought I was going to hit a bunch of water there, especially in one spot, but nope, didn't hit anything. I was like, sweet. So I was able to mow that whole thing. I uh, left clumps in a few little spots. I could have walked and broke it up. And I'm like, ah, screw it. So I, I just raised the deck up and uh, to the three and a half, or to the four inch setting, which technically would be four and a quarter. So it's an inch higher than what I cut it at. And uh, I went over it and everything dispersed really well. So I just had a couple, like two or three little spots I had to break up with the blower. I did that. And you saw it. I mean, I think it came out really good. Now I have two left on today's list, but here it is. Rain's coming down again, so I'm done. The last two that I have to do are easy. They're no big deal. One of them is pretty big. It's it's probably a solid acre and a half of just mowing. No, I'd say it's probably a solid two acres of just mowing. And then there's, there's a decent amount of trimming. Not a ton, but a decent amount. Um, but it's most of it's open. So I, I could just fly on it. And it's not a big deal. That one doesn't. Some parts of it grow pretty good, but most of it doesn't grow too out of control. So I'll just tag them two on the tomorrow's list, and that'll be that. But obviously not much mowing footage today in this video, but this is what happens. Like the title says, life of a lawn care service. This is the stuff you go through. But all in all... Not too bad. Yeah, here comes this rain. I don't know if you guys can hear it hitting the windshield. You can probably hear my wipers going. They squeak. Squeaky. But that's it. That's all I got for today. Try to get some more footage tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Tomorrow's the day with the big hill. I actually really enjoyed that. For the three years I mowed that property, some days I'm like, I can't wait to get rid of this property. I didn't want to do it. But now that I got it back, I'm actually enjoying it. I'm having fun mowing that one. I'm loving the way it's looking when I get done with it. It's just I I used to have it at the beginning of the day you know, for three years all the time. And so I was like, man, I got to get this lawn done. And sometimes there were parts I had to double cut. And I'm like, I got to get this in, get it out. So I get on to my next lawn and... But now that I took it back, I arranged it so that I do, it's my very last lawn of the day, so I can take my time on it, do what I want to do, and it's literally 150, maybe 200 yards around the corner from one I already do. Not even that, 150 max. So it's, it's right there, and I put it in a good spot. But anyway, all right, enough of me blabbing on that. I will see you guys in the next one.